sent a tweet last night by my pulpy friend Peach Bailey. That's right, Peach. We're friends. Deal with it, you stony bitch. This tweet was shocking, horrifying, and completely killed my erection. This isn't a drill. Teddy's missing. She's using old episodes to cover her ass. This isn't laziness. It's murder. I, of course, immediately... Whoa! Is that ten retweets? One of them was me, so I guess there are nine other people out there who have serious issues. Anyway, I immediately took to the dark streets of YouTube to find out for myself if this was true. Utilizing a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for- I, I typed the name into the search bar. But what I found made me literally die. It's a fucking revamp, isn't it? Look at all these thumbnails. They never used to have that border. Look. Oh, wait, check this out. Happy Lindsay. Happy Lindsay. Serious Lindsay. I'm so quirky. I'm so gay. Homophobia. Joyful. Gleeful. Angry. <laughs> I could do this for hours, but I won't. So in light of this reboot, it's become clear the old sassy Teddy that gave me so much shit in season one is gradually being phased out as Lindsay re-releases episodes and rewrites the history of queer kid stuff. This has gone beyond a mere kidnapping, people. This is a fucking conspiracy. You want proof? You can't handle the proof. But fuck it. Here we go anyway. Hey there, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. No, you're not. Teddy is probably rotting beneath six feet of dirt by now, if he got a burial. This one here, this is an imposter. A soft animal toy stuffed with lies. Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. Today, we're celebrating one whole year of Queer Kid Stuff. What? Really? Fuck here now. I guess you're really not going to learn, are you? Wait, hold on. If we go to the About section on your channel, here we go. What the fuck is this? You aren't a year old, you fuckwit. Maybe ease up on the sexuality studies and learn yourself some basic fucking maths. Not a good idea to have a P.O. Box on your channel either. I'd put that in the Patreon so not just anyone can send you shit, you know? Speaking of which, guys, don't send a teddy bear heads in the mail or anything. I know what you cunts are like. I mean, I doubt anyone was thinking that until I just said it then, so forget I said anything. We're moving on. What? Fuck here now, the bear sounds different every week. The volume changes every time too. I know, I know, I of all people can't really talk when it comes to sound quality. Actually, talking is all I do. Ah, sometimes I'll make stuff move. Look, a bird. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to celebrate our first birthday by revisiting our very first episode and talking about what gay means. Hold on, it's been a year, apparently, of explaining the different letters in LGBTQAAIWANTTODIE, right? And you've only recently got to the second A. And now you're starting again, are you? Fucking hell, Lindsay, these kids are going to be grown up by the time you're done. I swear, they've added like three new letters since you started. This shit's going to go on forever, isn't it? Isn't it? It's like that snake that's eating itself. Uh, Iroboros. But it's a homo. Anyway, let's get this intro out of the way. Are part of one big family. Gay means happy. Oh no, oh no. Stop. Queer kid stuff. You are enough here at Queer Kid Stuff. You know how a song will get really stuck in your head? Every fucking Thursday, man. And sometimes parts of Friday. I find myself humming it as I'm having a piss. I don't even like the damn song and it spends so much time in my mind just sat there mocking me. And if you think that doesn't have a psychological effect, you're wrong because it's driving me fucking mental. You ready, Teddy? Ready. Teddy, we've learned so much this year and you've gotten so good at all this queer kid stuff. Was there a little pause there as Lindsay finally realised that is a fucking shit title? Well done for catching up, girl. It's only been 33 videos. That I think you should take the lead on this episode. Really, Lindsay? Oh, this is some pandering hit. This is all for show, isn't it? These are some straight daddy 5 tactics. Treat them like shit for years, and then when someone says something, you're suddenly all nice to them. We know what you're doing, you sneaky fucker. That's not even the real Teddy. The real Teddy's probably been stripped and sold for parts by now. <sighs> what happened to you, Teddy? What happened to you? Definitely. I'm so excited. Okay, give me one second. I'll be right back. I have to get in the zone. 
Oh, okay. No, not that zone, Lindsay. Don't get so excited. I'm guessing she hasn't quite broken this one in yet, you know? He's still being groomed, but when it's time, well, he'll find out. Oh, shit. How many teddies has there been? Fuck, she's a monster. The police need to check inside her house. I bet there's teddy skins and stuffing everywhere like a fucking bomb went off in a Builder Bear workshop. We need evidence, man. We need evidence, and then we're gonna blow the lid off this thing. Ta-da! All right, Teddy, you look ready now. Oh, hell, ready for what, Lindsay? Not yet, please, he's still new. Hey there, everyone. Today, we are talking about what gay means. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot we were doing that. I should have remembered, really, from the way the bear is now dressed like Elton fucking John. I can't wait for a video on stereotypes. That one is gonna be interesting. You ready, Lindsay? Ready. A long, long time ago, the word gay meant happy. Yeah, and in the theme tune at the beginning of this video, so not all that long ago, really. And don't even try to deny it, because I've got the tune playing over and over and over in my fucking head. It's like a damn tumour. Like when I'm eating ice cream. That makes me feel happy and gay. Yeah. If ice cream is a euphemism for pussy, then yeah, I think you're spot on there. I feel happy and gay when I'm with you doing queer kid stuff. Oh, Teddy, that's so sweet. Yeah, so sweet. You totally told him to say that. Come on, imposter Teddy. She's got you dressed up like a tart. You're a bear, a majestic beast, and she's humiliating you. This is how it begins. We've seen it before. But now it means something sort of different. Like what, Teddy? Oh, I get it. Teddy is the fall guy, yeah? The patsy, the scapegoat. Remember those guests that come in now and again to completely fuck up what would normally be a simple explanation? Not guests, man. Witnesses. And they're gonna flip on Teddy if this queer kid shit gets Lindsay in trouble. And getting him to explain what gay means to an audience of infants will cement any conviction. Shit, imposter Teddy, you're going to jail. You'll learn what gay means there. Gay means when one person one gender loves someone romantically who is the same gender. Being very careful with our words there, aren't we? But hold on, if there are like a million genders, how the fuck is anyone gay? I mean, statistically, that would be such a rare occurrence, wouldn't it? Even with Grinder, you wouldn't be spoilt for choice. It would say your closest match is 19 miles away and probably fuck ugly. So, if a boy loves a boy, they're gay. You should probably specify the word romantically again, otherwise some boys are going to be eyeing up their brothers very fucking nervously. And if a girl loves a girl, they're gay too. Wicked! So now kids are going to be announcing they're gay to their parents because their pet dog is the same gender as them. That's going to cause some shit, isn't it? There's a bloody good reason we don't explain this shit to kids. Actually, there's a shit ton of reasons, but one of them is because they're intuitive and curious. But also dense as fuck sometimes. If you asked a little boy what sex is, he'd probably say when you have a piss in a girl's ass. What if a person loves a person? Oh, yeah, your gender thing. Men, women, and people. For a while, I blissfully forgot about that. A casual suggestion that anyone happy with the gender they were born as and will always be isn't a real person. Such impressionable little minds. They could be gay, too. The word gay has everything to do with love. Now that's just a fucking lie, isn't it? If you have to lie to the kids about it, Lindsay, they're not ready to know about it. Why the fuck do you think someone had the idea of a stork delivering babies? Can you imagine what kind of world it would be if we discussed this shit with kids when they're like three? Like, hey, Timmy, you see your mum? Yeah, I hate that. Innocence, Lindsay, they have it. Except when they've done something heinous, like took a shit in your coat pocket, then they're guilty as fuck. There's also one more thing gay can mean. Oh, for fuck's sake, what now? Something magical, no doubt. Oh yeah? What's that, Teddy? It's also an umbrella. That's totally right, Teddy. Gay can also be an umbrella term. Come on, Lindsay. Every time you explain something, you always have to explain what you just said. You are just so shit. Gay can also be an umbrella for the whole entire LGBTQ plus community. You're not even going to explain what an umbrella term is then. Every kid is thinking of a massive canopy in the rain and every gamer is thinking of Resident Evil. But fuck you kids, Google it. And how is it even an umbrella term for the LGBT community when that contains asexuals and allies too? Not gay, dickhead. Not everyone uses the word gay as an umbrella. 
but a lot of people use it that way. Oh, well, if we're talking popular usage, then it also means poor quality, as in your glasses are gay. Other more specific terms also work in much the same way, such as dude, stop being such a homo, and this council tax is really fucking me up the ass. All part of the same heritage, I guess, is a rich tapestry. Did you know that I actually prefer to identify as gay rather than lesbian? I don't think anyone is shocked at that revelation, Lindsay. Something about you just screams sticking the finger in the dike. I like that the meaning is a bit bigger, but that's just my personal preference, and the word gay can mean something different to a lot of people. Well then what was the point in trying to explain it? Fucking hell, if you're gonna end it with that, you might as well have said gay is also a spectrum, so your guess is as good as mine. Damn it, Lindsay! That's so cool, Lindsay. Okay, now I want to talk about families. Some families might have a mom and a mom. Yeah, most don't. Weird place to start, really. Or a dad and a dad. Well, not through being married to a woman for 10 years, coming out as gay and then winning custody of their children. <laughs> not in this current year. Some families might have one mom. Or one dad? Because the bastard couldn't keep his dick out of his secretary! Or many moms or many dads. So kids, what you can learn from that is when adults fuck up, they fuck up big. And you'll grow up to be a massive fuck up too. Then you'll die. Happy childhood! These families all look so different from each other. But what matters is that we're all Family. What's this shit? The Queer Kid Stuff budget couldn't spring for a piece of yellow fucking chalk? Who are you kidding with this crap? Thank you so much for watching Queer Kid Stuff. I'm gonna stop you there, Teddy. I didn't watch this through choice. This has all been part of an ongoing investigation. So there we have it, guys. Queer Kid Stuff, one year on by the judgment of some superior mathematics, still peddling the same shit week after week. Powered by the fear that some children, maybe yours, will end up straight. Perhaps the lyrics to the theme tune should be changed from It's Okay to Be Gay to Being Gay is Preferable. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out this channel's Patreon to aid the investigation into Teddy's disappearance and between us, I think we can get to the bottom of it. The link is in the description and remember, growing up must be tough if you watch Queer Kids stuff.